안녕하세요 여러분 저는 오늘 제 호주 친구 월터를 데려왔는데요 <웃음> 오늘 저희가 나눠볼 얘기는 호주랑 뉴질랜드로 워킹홀리데이나 또는 유학 생활을 하러 가시는 분들을 위해서 현지 생활을 할때 도움이 될 만한 슬랭들을 정말 자주 쓰이는 슬랭들을 몇개 가져와 봤습니다 이걸 가지고 비슷한 슬랭이 뭐가 있는지 아니면 두 나라 간에 또 다른 슬랭이 뭐가 있는지를 한번 재밌게 얘기를 나눠볼게요 So what I've noticed about uh, New Zealand and Australia is that we share like similar things as well I, I think a lot of people in New Zealand they say like cheers as well yeah? yeah so like Australians we say cheers we say ta and they say it ta <laughs> no, 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 Australia ta is Australian you can look that up I'm pretty sure it's Australian <laughs> uh, A so A A? 문장 끝에 A 붙여서 그치? Right, 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 right It's cool isn't it? Like, mm. it's cool isn't it? Oh, it's cool eh? Mm. Yeah, yeah I think that's Australian as well. I think New Zealand are stealing. <laughs> now. Something I learned while living in Korea was the like the yeah nah. Mm -hmm. New Zealanders say like nah yeah too. Yeah nah, nah yeah. Nah yeah yeah nah. Yes, 라고 말하고 싶으면 nah yeah. No, 라고 말하고 싶으면 yeah nah. Right. right. <laughs> right. <laughs> 근데 이거는 나처럼 한국인들한테 되게 도움이 되는 게 외국에 가서 부정형 질문에 대답할 때 헷갈리는데. Right. 어 실수를 해도 돼. Right, 왜냐면 right. 뒤에 다른 말을 하면 되니까 예를 들면 한국어처럼 생각해서 yes라고 했다가 right. 뒤에 나라고 바꿀 수 있으니까. Right, 그래서 right. 예나. 예 나. When I first heard it, I didn't know how to answer it. Like, what you agree or you don't agree or what? Like, <laughs> you okay with swearing in your videos? Like, piece of piece is sort of swearing, isn't it? 음, 근데 그 easy peasy 그것도 비슷한. Yeah, right. So easy peasy, piece of piece. Um, Obviously, it's a bit. Uh, it's very sort of informal expression, mm. right? You don't use it at mm. work. Well, don't use it at work. I would say <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's a piece of piss. He's like, yeah, that's super easy, mm. right? I didn't know that. Oh yeah. Well, it's Australian. That's why we use it. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard my New Zealand friends use a piece of piss mm. unless they're. New Zealand 친구가 없어. I have. I, shout out to my New Zealand <laughs> friends while watching this. Uh, so we'll still talk about similarities, right? So she'll be right. She'll be right is. A, I'm gonna argue. This <laughs> is Australian slang. <laughs> she'll be right. I know Australian slang. I didn't know. Kiwis are all Kiwi slang. Kiwi slang. So I'm Kiwi phone. She'll be right now. She'll be right is something I've always. Used and you know what? For people who don't know, it's kind of like saying everything will be okay. Um, right, 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 right. Don't worry about it. She'll be right. So I'm gonna argue with you this whole <laughs> video. I feel like it's Australian slang. <laughs> so similarities, similarities, very, very similar. Or New Zealand's copying. <laughs> so. Keen? Oh, I love this one. Oh, yeah. Right, like keen as, like we say keen as, I'm keen as to hang out or something like that. I'm keen, I'm keen, okay. Right, right, like I think it's like sort of similar to like I'm down. Like I can't do a New Zealand accent, I'll try. But it's like, oh, keen as brute. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, keen as brute. Like that's what makes it sound New Zealand, but when Australians say. Keen as brute. Penis bro. <laughs> In Australia, we try to copy the New Zealand accent, but we're all terrible. Mm. <laughs> but then New Zealanders also try to copy the Australian right. accent. So. Yeah, 서로 둘다 이상해. Right, right, right. <laughs> but when they put that like that bro at the end of it, that sounds really New Zealand. Mm -hmm. But like when Australians say it, it's like oh, keen as man or keen as mate. All good ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I use all good. Mm, all good. All good means everything's okay. You take a 긍정적인 기분 좋은 단어 같아. Right, 그냥, right. 그냥 어 
well, okay, you go for all good. All good, yeah, <laughs> it's like, like, it's also similar, like, like to don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I'm sorry, and, oh, it's all oh, good. good. Yeah, oh. it's all good, right? <laughs> gum boots. Gum boots. I think, yeah, we definitely use gum boots as well. People from England, they use like Welly, Wellies or Wellington, and Americans use like rain boots. But yeah, I think Australia and New Zealand are the only ones that use gum, gum boots. Heaps. Nah, heaps. Many people tell me when I use the word heaps, oh, that's so Australian when you use heaps. No. <laughs> <laughs> I use like heaps, like heaps of people. Like, there's heaps of people here, or there's heaps of food left over. Mm. I didn't even know it was actually New Zealand or Australian slang. I thought it was just normal English, but mm. people would sort of ask me, oh, why do you use heaps? heaps. Like, yeah, but I use it all the time. So, yeah, it turns out it's not standard English, it's Australian, mm. New Zealand. Mm. Other things like trolley, we use oh. trolley the same as well. Trolley is also like, um, right, right, right. Also, like the bed that I just the oh, they, they drag that oh, thing. That's, the trolley. And it's a trolley as well, right? Stubbies. I thought Stubbies was Australian because I thought Stubbies is an Australian brand. I don't know. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But you use it in New Zealand as well. Oh, how do you do it? 남자들이 그렇게 짧은 반바지를 안 입는 남자 잘 음. 그냥 뭔가 한 무릎 정도 오는 바지 right, 그 정도 right, right. 입는데 뭔가 뉴질랜드에서는 남자들도 한 허벅지 반쯤 오는 그런 바지를 되게 많이 입는 거예요. Right, 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 right. 그래서 어왜 이렇게 바지들이 다 짧아? 그랬더니 친구가 아 저거 스터비라고 한다고 알려줬어. Right, right. And like like that 반바지 like like you said sort of it's much shorter. 어, 좀, yeah. 어, 남, 남자들이 입기에 너무 짧은 거 아니야? <웃음> right, really. It's like above like above the knee, right? It's really, really short. It's like, you don't see that in Korea, right? Men don't usually oh, wear those sort of, those pants, but oh. it's really fashionable. <laughs> right, right, right. Korean women hate like hairy legs. <laughs> but in Australia, it's, or in New Zealand as well, it's sort of just normal things and we like wear really short shorts. Like men wear really short shorts. But this is a different choice. In Hoju, there's a lot of men's hair in the Oh, well... <laughs> I don't know, really. To be honest with you, I've, I don't really have a lot of hair on my legs. <laughs> so, I've never had that experience before. But I think body hair is a bit more common in Western countries. So, it's not as like bad, I guess, mm. compared to Korea. Op shops? Ah, op shop. Do we call them op shops or do we call them? We usually say secondhand stores. Ah, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We call op shop. I think we do use the word op shop mm. as well. Ah, I think op shop I know, but secondhand stores are more used. Or yeah, like secondhand stores or like the salvos. Like salvage. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, if we donate things, we call oh. like we go to the salvos or something like that. Oh. We use that instead. But op shops, we know what it means though. Mm. But. I don't actually know what the op means in op shop, do you know? Uh, I think it's opportunity. Is it? I didn't know that. 